Hello, fishing fans. This is Matthew Upton from Ross coming back to you live on Monday, September 26th. Hope you guys had a good weekend and uh, hope you guys out east didn't get too affected by Fiona. And now we're uh, us in Florida here. We're we're bracing for Ian. So hopefully everything turns out OK and the, and the weather stays stays decent up north. But we, we're looking at ocean conditions again um, from the last couple of days. It cleared up nicely so we can get a good look at what's going on. And believe it or not, we still have some decent conditions out there for late September. So when when weather permits, you know, we can we can still find tuna, wahoo, mahi swordfish even um, even a few marlin still in the next next couple of weeks what we've noticed here for sea surface temperature you got you know the water's getting cooler um don't get me wrong it's getting into fall fall weather now we've got um water inshore now off of new jersey long island 67 68 degrees 69 degrees um we're looking at your greener, blue, bluer water is your cooler water. Your reds and oranges and yellows are warmer water. And what we've noticed this past uh, few days is you know, the Gulf Stream's up, still up to 82, 83 degrees, even 84 down by North Carolina. What we're keeping an eye on now and will be for the next few weeks even is this, this um, warm core Gulf Stream clockwise rotating eddy now over hudson canyon tom's pulling up some gulf stream water this water is 76 77 75 degrees pulling up this gulf stream warmer water right into hudson tom's canyon carteret by later this week this is this is um you know kind of unusual for this time of year you're gonna have some good tuna even marlin uh action for into October here for the canyons from Hudson, Toms, down to Wilmington, if this continues down like it should to the southwest. Waters out, there's another eddy offshore Washington Canyon, a counterclockwise Gulf Stream eddy. This is, we followed this for the last week too. We got some 73, 74, even 75 degree water still within reach. Poor man's Washington Canyon, 800, 700,000 fathoms. Nice filament here. We've got a nice warm water still off of North Carolina. And a nice strong Gulf Stream edge here. Um, off, we got some still still some nice fingers of 70 71 degree water over most of the canyon 72 73 down norfolk to wilmington these these you know long fin tuna um, yellow fin still big eyes there's still some tuna action to be found offshore in the canyons what we've noticed out farther east now we're down the, you know the, off of cape cod here we're we're out to, this is some cooler water coming down, but we do have still 66, 67 degree water here, 68 degrees, 65. Um, we got an eddy, a clockwise eddy off of Ladonia, Powell Canyons. This water is still 71, 72 degrees. So we got some decent water. You know, once you get offshore 500 fathoms or so, maybe even 100 fathoms, Oceanographer to Ladonia on the Powell Canyon. Nice finger of water inshore of hydrographer. This is this is still tuna territory, even though this water is getting cooler and moving this way. Um, got some rotation this way. Uh, there's a nice finger here between Block and Atlantis. 71, 72 degree water. So stay tuned to Ross, and I hope uh, you know this this Ian. Hurricane Ian coming up. This is not going to be too big a deal for the Northeast. It's too too early to tell, but um, I know some guys are fishing earlier this week, getting offshore, trying to get that last marlin or two um, for the season. But also, we know swordfish action has been good. We have a client of ours that caught a state record swordfish out of uh, Ocean City, Maryland. So congrats to Rochambeau. Uh, we have... Look at the ocean color conditions now. You know, a little bit of green. We had some cloud cover here. Some of this green water 
that looks like it's green is actually clouds, but some blue green, still some bluer water up south of Norfolk here. And in the middle of this middle of this eddy that's off of Hudson, still some bluer water. So this is encouraging some blended blue water and fingers still blue green all the way inshore off of New York. It looks like some rotation up this way, kind of like that. There's some greener water inshore, obviously, but there's some blended blue to blue green water. Nice filament here between fishtails and Atlantis. Um, so stay tuned to Ross, and um, we'll come at you again likely next week, for the next couple weeks here for the Northeast conditions. And, and stay tuned. Good luck. Good luck this week and hopefully get offshore when weather permits because conditions, we're still catch some fish in here. Um, the temperature is still warm enough for most pelagics and hopefully weather permits so you can get offshore a couple times this week or, or next week. Thank you so much and we'll talk soon.